Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Daily Energy Draw. Holy wow, these messages this week are expansive. I don't know another word for it, it just feels like they're kind of expansive. So today we're going to be using the Whispers of Love deck because um, I feel like we want some very gentle energy coming in. Um, tomorrow we'll have Romance Angels Friday, but this feels like it's more for lightworkers. It feels like it's more on a global scale, but what's interesting, the messages that are coming across, it's like what you're learning with your connection, what you're learning um, on this ascension journey, on this divine counterpart path of ascension, is actually helping the world itself. You're actually applying it to what is happening in the world itself. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. We are learning and growing and expanding to raise the vibrations of the planet, to evolve the planet, to evolve the universe as a whole. Um, so it's no wonder that you're being called to use your tools and your faith and your peace and your value and your light to help the world at this time because everything is interconnected every single thing is interconnected there is nothing that is not without that is not coincidental nothing is coincidental everything is connected that is this unity consciousness we are all connected so okay massive 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 they you know what? it's funny because these daily energy draws are meant to be short channelings and it's just it's coming in as a flood of downloads um i can feel it spirit really wants to talk about higher level ascension so um i feel like later this week um we're gonna we're gonna go there we're gonna talk about ascension we're gonna talk about what's happening in the world um maybe <laughs> maybe if, if i'm feeling up for it um but i mean that those are the messages that they're bringing in. Remember, your journey, ascension, your counterpart connection is much more than just love. They're correcting me. They're saying everything is about love. But love, it, it's much more than romance. It's healing. It's purpose. It's mission. It's helping each other. It's interconnectedness. It is so much more than you and your divine counterpart your love is expansive and as you come together in that sacred union your love expands to embrace the entire world and change the entire world your love helps in the process of evolution and we had channeled that a long time ago in one of the channeled messages on the playlist channeled messages um, where it's a new blueprint you're not just your experiences helps the universe to expand and so does your love you're not just raising the vibrations of this planet you're helping the expansion of the entire universe because the universe itself is evolving just as you are evolving as a soul so as souls evolve so does the universe expand and evolve and isn't that glorious isn't that just beautiful and kind of awesome um it really truly is i mean when you think about the universe as a whole and how big and vast and infinite it is that is what infinity is that is what infinite is it is ever evolving just like you are ever evolving and expanding so that's kind of mind-blowing <laughs> wow okay so let's get into this spirit what do you want to know for um what is it thursday what do you need to know for thursday 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 thursday, thursday. what do you need to know for thursday what do you want us to know for thursday let's bring it back down a little bit Let's bring it back down a little bit. What do you want us to know for Thursday? Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. What they're pointing me to, you see that lotus flower? And you see how she's just kind of biding her time, um, enjoying herself, being present in that lotus flower? The lotus flower blooms from the muck, from the mud. Um, when it doesn't feel like it has a chance, that's when it actually blooms. From the darkness comes the dawn. This is not an energy of waiting. This is not an energy of putting your life on hold. I know I just said biding your time, but it's about being present. This is not about putting your life on hold. This is about taking care of yourself and stepping into your power and what makes you happy, making the choices to manifest for your life. And that's when you come into harmony with your divine counterpart because you're not waiting. You're not putting your life on hold for another person. You're taking steps for your life and as you take steps for, for your life, that's when you converge with another because they're taking steps for theirs. And here's what's happening. If, if you are have patience, yes, that's what having faith is all about. Have patience in the divine unfolding. We talked about that, I think it was Tuesday. 
but if you are putting your life on hold and just waiting in your house for the doorbell to ring, your person is growing as well and it's like you're stuck in stagnant energy and they're growing and you're going to miss each other. You're going to pass by. But if you're continuing with your life, if you're continuing your passions, if you're continuing your work, if you're continuing your pur purpose and your mission work and socializing with friends and family, um, and I, I know, you know, we're in a, like a self-isolation kind of energy right now, but, but as you, as you will, as you can, um, even on social media, even, you know, as you can, um, as you're doing this, you're coming into alignment. You're walking on your path, they're walking on theirs, and you come into alignment together. Your paths converge, and that's where sacred union happens in the physical. Because when you're holding yourself back and just in an energy of waiting and stagnant energy, then you're not growing, and you have to grow. You have to grow. You have to expand. You cannot hold yourself back. You have to be open to this divine unfolding. And um, in the Sacred Union Energy update from the past weekend, um, they had given me once again the energy of, or the image of a garden. You're working on your patch of the garden. Your divine counterpart is working on their patch of the garden. If you're not working on your garden, which is, again, family, friends, mission, purpose, joy, um, passion, whatever it is that lights you up and raises your vibrations and furthers your own expansion and soul growth, whatever furthers your journey, if you're not working on that, then your garden gets neglected. Your patch of the garden gets neglected. And if you're too focused on their patch of the garden, then you're just neglecting yourself as well. And you have to pull the focus back on yourself because they're working on their patch of the garden, you're working on yours. And what happens is you come together, they showed me a beautiful couple embracing each other and looking out over what they had created, this beautiful garden that is now blooming together. And they're showing me, you know, rose bushes and lilac bushes and chrysanthemums and like all these beautiful flowers kind of entangling together now. But that won't happen if you're neglecting yourself. That won't happen if you're too focused on your counterpart. You have to pull the focus back from your counterpart and trust that they're doing the work because they are. You might not be able to see it at this time. It might not all be revealed to you at this time, um, but it is happening. They process things a little bit differently than you do divine feminines. Divine masculines process and heal differently than the divine feminines do. And that's just, it's, it's, it's not better or worse, it's just different. It's that men are from Mars, women are from Venus kind of energy. It's just a way of processing and healing differently, but they are going through a transformation. And you are helping them. You are energetically helping them, but that was a channeled message in the Sacred Union Energy Update where you don't have to focus so much on helping them to heal anymore. That was a codependency that you had. So what you can do now is pull back from that because you're one you guys are one the love that you feel for them they will feel naturally and you are helping them to heal but you don't have to actively help them heal you don't have to actively send them compassion and strength and love and you know reach out to them in meditation because they will naturally feel your love for them that is part of their, their growth. That is part of their transformation that they are going through at this time. So have patience because this is unfolding. You are going to be receiving clarity. That lotus blossom is blooming. This connection is coming into being. The flowers of your garden are blooming together now. So have patience with yourself for how this is unfolding because it is. It is. It's not an energy of have patience and wait, have patience and don't enjoy yourself, have patience because it's not time yet, have patience because it is here, have patience because sacred union is now, sacred unions are coming into being, have patience as in be kind to yourself and just be in the present moment and embrace the joy of the journey now, let the past be in the past and just allow it to unfold because it's not somewhere far off into the future. That's not what they're saying. Have patience about. It is now. It is here. It is unfolding. It is blossoming. Wow. I cannot wait to see what we have for Ramos Angels Friday. So we'll be back tomorrow. Make sure that you stay tuned. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light, and we'll see you soon.